Incorporating new technologies will not happen because I think something is cool or JC thinks that something is cool. We launched what we call the Gibson Lab. The Gibson Lab is all about testing innovation. It's also about manufacturing practices. Gibson started using the Pluck machines in the early 2000s. We first started out with one or two machines and then we added more. Initially, only certain models above a certain price point had the Plex process. And then we added more machines to where now every single guitar that Gibson makes, whether it's at USA or Custom Shop or Montana, everything goes through the Plex process. So that just ensures we have the most accurate fretboard surface possible. After the final machining of the bodies, the guitars then enter the Plex room. The Plex room is the fret leveling and profiling operation. So guitars each have their own Plex program. It's a CNC machine that will level the frets and then give it the final profile, which is the round profile of the fret after it's been leveled. So each model has its own specific program on the Plex and its own specific fixtures. Guitars are loaded in those fixtures, then they go into pre-tensioning jigs that tension the neck to simulate string tension they're then located in the Plex machine, and then the program is keyed in, then they run the machine, and it starts a scanning process. That scanning process scans the fret surface under each string path, and then it's a plunger affair, and every time it hits a fret, that plunger moves up and down, and it records digitally what that movement is. So after it completes that scan, it has a digital topographic map of that entire fretboard surface. Then it comes back one by one and machines each fret to its proper height and profile, which is incredible if you think about all that digital information stored. It might take one thousandth off at the beginning of the fret, maybe three thousandths in the middle, maybe skip the last part, and every fret could be different. It takes it to the final height, the final profile, and lastly, it'll slot the fingerboard nut so now that's guaranteed accurate and on center. I am a Plex operator. I, work, I started out as a fret filer, uh, where we used to uh, level the frets by hand. And now we changed and went to the Plex machine, which I am highly grateful for that. Well, when we used to fret file, trying to do that by hand and doing so many guitars, your eyes may get tired and your shoulders would definitely hurt from having to rake across the frets. But a Plex machine is more accurate because you're taking something measuring this. And when your eyes get tired, a machine doesn't get tired like my eyes may get tired. So I definitely appreciate that. It helps in the quality. Plus the playability is probably far more better when you're talking about measuring something that's a thousandth of an inch compared to me looking at it with my, my eyes. So. If it says Gibson on the headstock, you know it's made entirely in the United States, it goes through the Plex process, and it's a true nitrocellulose finish. Well, I think it feels good whenever you can be a part of something that is sustained so long, and knowing that I'm a part of and I'm building guitars. I'll give you a good example. When I went to Guitar Center, I was telling my son one time, hey, I, I made that guitar. So I think it feels good when you can say you are a part of something and it's a good something. So Gibson having the name that it has and I can go somewhere, I'm, hey, I'm the Plex operator, I Plex that guitar. I think it's always a great thing. The first thing I want people to think about when they think about this new era of Gibson is the highest quality guitars that Gibson has ever made in the history of the company. And that is where everything starts. We, I want a look back to say they were onto something. They really borrowed from the history and took it forward to take the company into another dimension with what they're making, the quality of instruments they're making. And I think that if we get our fans and our artists to say that, that means success. <laughs>